Hi, this is Andrew Price with Pilot Catastrophe Services, and you are watching Adjuster TV. In this video, what will the hiring managers at one of the biggest IA firms in the US be looking for on your resume, whether you're new or experienced? Plus, learn more about the hiring process at Pilot Catastrophe, including whether or not Pilot has an experience requirement for new adjusters, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. For the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as a cap property independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. And a special thanks to Sean from Facebook who says, I, I've just been through a lot uh, to try to figure out how to get into this. And I didn't give up, very close to giving up. Anyway, I just got deployed with Pilot. You know, Pilot's a place that I think a lot of people start in this career. I'm starting to figure that out. And I know why. They're a really good company. They're very helpful. The training is good. They want you to succeed. It is not easy to go from nothing, no knowledge, no experience, maybe no money, and push on this and get in and get hired and get deployed inside or out. It's extremely difficult. So I trust uh, your information and it's helped me quite a bit. And I, I just want to tell you, I appreciate that and I'm off to work for Pilot. Listen, Sean, I'm so happy to be of help and I'm very interested to see how you progress in your career. So Pilot Catastrophe is kind of the granddaddy of IA firms, in a way. Many, if not most, IAs got their start on a pilot storm, myself included. In this video, Andrew Price, a veteran adjuster and senior recruiter at Pilot, talks about the most important things Pilot looks for on an adjuster's resume, as well as how they handle new adjusters applying to get on their roster. And here's Andrew. My name is Andrew Price, and I work for Pilot Catastrophe Services, based out of Mobile, Alabama. Uh, we are an independent adjusting firm that handles claims all over the United States for property, auto, uh, inland marine, commercial, a variety of options for people that are looking to work as an adjuster on the independent side, obviously. Uh, I've been with Pilot for 15 years. I uh, started in 2004 as a field adjuster. I've done just about everything on the property side you can do. I've been a field adjuster, a desk adjuster, a team lead, a trainer, a manager. And specifically, I was asked a couple of years ago to come to the recruiting side because not only did we want to recruit folks to our roster that are interested, we also want to engage our own people on the roster to make sure that we are making them aware of everything that Pilot has to offer. And so essentially we do that when people apply through live webinars that we uh, handle usually through one of our senior recruiters, most of the time it's me, uh, to give everybody a good snapshot of what they get by deciding if Pilot is the right fit for them. You know, people want to know how to get deployed, licensing and certification. 34 states require you to have a license as an insurance adjuster, as either property or auto. And uh, the more licenses you have, the more deployable you become. How helpful is it for somebody to have Okay, we'll get back to the video in just a second, but I wanted to let you know about my new free masterclass, Advanced Time Management, How to Close More Claims in Less Time. When I first got started as an adjuster, way back before they invented the wheel, I got Xactimate training, I got the scoping training and the, and the construction training. And when I went to adjuster school back then, this was how the instructor taught us about our scheduling and time management. He said, and most importantly, you have to have good time management. Okay, now we're gonna talk about windows. He was totally right, of course. Time management is the most important thing. I don't know, maybe tell me how to do it? In spite of doing everything I could to prepare to go on my first CAT deployment, I had zero time management skill. And I spent a lot of money on that course. So let's talk about time management. Click the link where you're watching this video below for dates and times of this free live masterclass and get signed up. I hope to see you there. How helpful is it for somebody to have a public It's not something that we specifically look for on a resume, honestly. What we're going to do is evaluate whether or not you can perform the job functions as outlined. You want to be a field adjuster, the expectation is that you're going to be well versed in Xactimate. The level of certification is really going to become important as to the severity of the damage of the claims you're looking at. You know, if you're looking at a total loss or a, almost total loss in Slidell, Louisiana after Hurricane Katrina, it's going to require a significant level of experience more than working claims in Midland, Texas for hail, where you have every roof is a 412 pitch with 20 squared roof. Almost everybody with limited or no experience, we're going to request that you come through a training class so that we can assess where they are and evaluate them and help rate them ready for deployment kind of how we look at that. And then of course, what we're gonna look at first are licensing certification. That's, that's ultimately what's gonna open the most doors for you. Uh, at Pilot, you have to have a license to be eligible for our Pilot roster. Uh, however, if you wanna be uh, inspectors on demand or part of our CMS team, which is more administrative support, 
a license is not required. Your experience level determines your path at pilot. The more experienced adjusters are going to go one direction. Those with limited or no experience are going to have a little bit different path uh, that's going to require a little bit more training and evaluation before we can deploy somebody. As much, I think, training that you can get that will help prepare you as a, a property adjuster for things like construction, or if you're an auto adjuster, auto repair, um, the estimating systems like Xactimate version 28 specifically is what we're on right now. Um, if you're looking at Autotex or Mitchell or CCC1 as, a, as an auto adjuster, that's what's going to help prepare them. Our whole goal is to help people be successful. Question of the day, how would you explain an actual cash value settlement to an insured? Assume that the insured knows nothing about policy. Answer in the comments where you're watching this video. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by hitting my face right here. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.